Soaker Bay in the bottom. Um, 2017 BMW 320i. Um, here you can see I got one over here on the left side, it's original light. On the right side is an LED that I just bought. Um, I'm going to show you how to put that in. This one is a little bit more complicated than the one that on the uh, internet. I couldn't find anyone doing this one because the, the bracket the, on the back of that light. The process taking now the uh, the light bulb, access the light bulb is, uh, you know, many YouTube already have it. But I mean, um, again, it just is, uh, the top one is the one that for the uh, high beam. And very much it just, uh, it just twist it and then, uh, and then open it. So, <clears throat> I don't do the high beam. Um, Today, I mean, I, I don't, I don't change my high beam. I just do the, the low beam. So the low beam, you have to go behind the wheel. So here is the. So the, um, the two top right there, you just kind of push it down like this, and uh, it's gonna pop out. see it there you go I just turn it this way turn it that way let it get loose out and then you can see this hair have a little <coughs> strange looking well, anyway it's just a little uh, adapter or bracket or to hold the light bulb so show you how it work uh, because the um, it's not like the other one that you could just plug in the light the new LED light because of this bracket here so um, I will take it out and show you so we want to uh, get a, a glove you know like a glove um, <clears throat> like a, some a towel or something if you want to touch this the bolt right here because you don't want to touch that bulb with your bare hand um, <clears throat> also you know you want to save it in case you uh, use it later or whatever so we're gonna uh, unblock that bulb so you just kind of uh, wiggle, wiggle this light bulb out side of that the socket right there okay we're gonna have to do something with that two screw right there like that okay, so here's the bracket um, after I take it out it look like this so <clears throat> we have to see how we're gonna fit this into this light big bulb right here the light bulb have the 
base right here same as it look like the base of the light bulb the, the original light bulb right here the base so just twist it you can twist it and you can change the position of the light when you was in the car but you can twist it and then you can slide it out you know it light up the knot right here the two knot right here with the two knot right here you can see the knot right uh, right here so it's just light up on both sides and it's light through so <coughs> This one right here, the little, you see that the little right, flat part, and it got a little tap here. So that's supposed to fit on flat into this, this cut right there. So it's supposed to fit like that. to slide it in slide it in it's you see the, the back here you see that right there we need to cut it off so so you line it up right there and you mark it trim the two right two side right here this side and this side to fit that that circle to slide it through okay okay so li I line them up correctly then I mark the kind of mark the circle kind of see and then I'm gonna trim off that I'm using this I got a Dremel right here and I'm using this right here okay so I'm gonna show you how I do it This is after I grind up the circle right here. And um, slide it in. Um, there is um, two little tap. You can see right here. Right there. Little right there. And then one on the top, one 
down at the bottom right here. see it yeah so anyway I don't know what you can see but uh, the two tap is slot into this edge right here so when you slide it in it kind of uh, right here against it right here so you have to kind of push it in. Um, right like that. So it sit in tightly like this. Now the thing is the light bulb, the original one is so thin this edge right here is so thin and I think the little step up right here is the, the LED light is thicker too so so when you put this back into the socket you see this tap right here is supposed to face up upward so when you put in the socket your car it's go like this okay this one at the bottom so you kind of go in this way go to the left a little bit this way and you twist in twist in like this okay so the thing is in the thicker this two tap is really hard to go into the original slot so it took me a long time to try to twist this thing. So what I did is I have to release the um, the screw on the socket a little bit. I show you how how it did go. Okay. Okay. Let go back out to the car and uh, put it back in. Time to get this one back in here. There you go. So make sure that little tap right here kind of parallel to the to the cut of the base see it okay and also when you slice this one in and you can see it hitting the base see this this tap right here hitting the base yeah I don't know you see it you see that so it hitting this base right here right there so either you have to put it in hard and you twist or you have to bend this a little bit okay so I think I'm gonna keep it um, like that so when I push it in it it make this whole thing stick together better okay it, it, it kind of it kind of bend out a little bit after you push it in so there you go you see that so yeah. yeah okay so we're gonna go out there and and then when the when you put it in your light should light up this way this is the best position. Okay, so this one right here, you see the line right there? It's supposed to stand vertical. If you look in from the front of your car, this one should be vertical. Okay. So, 
I'm gonna go around there and put it in. As I said, it's gonna be very hard to put it back in uh, because of thickness. So we have to do is we have to right there. Okay, do the make it release the screw a little bit um, to make it. more room easier to twist it in and then after you've done you can just tie it back in okay so this right here <laughs> gonna be hard to do on the camera okay I release it a few times and then I'm gonna see if I can twist it back you twist it in there should go in like this a little sideways and then I'm gonna go There you go. I think it's in. It's kind of a way to go now. See? So, I think it's in already. Uh, you see that, that tap? That tap actually is behind the screw. See that? So, see when I can try to do the screw now. Screw now. Okay. I'm gonna try to screw back in. Okay. Let me see. See the screw? I don't know. See the screw? Tie it back in now. into the right vertical um, and then I put the light in um, this part right here into this socket the original socket lock it in They usually tell you tell you that you turn the wheel in to have room for it, but I don't know. I turn the wheel this way. When I do the other side, I turn it in, and I do this one. I turn it out just to see. And I don't know. Maybe this way a little bit more room. I think. cover back on. Here's the result. With the two light right there. And the one over here. So I still the 
it's, I don't know if I want to do the high beam, but for now, the low beam, like that. Okay. Okay, bye-bye.